the Goody Whiskey Gaming, and this is my late review of Watch Dogs Legion. I played it on the Xbox One and the Series X. It's also available on the PS4, now the PS5, the Stadia, because that's still a thing, I guess. And you can play it on Windows if you need to. So let's get into the story. You're playing as a member of DedSec, who is trying to prevent Parliament from being blown up. And I'm talking about Parliament in England, because it all takes place in London. Well, you do stop one bomb, you don't stop them all, and DedSec gets blamed for it. And before you know it, England, or more specifically since this takes place in London, England, it all becomes like a police state. A PMC is brought in to basically take over for the military. They're given a way, way too too much control. And you have to rebuild DedSec and find out what really happened, who planted the bombs, and you know, do all that jazz with some other stuff along the way. I mean, it wouldn't be a video game with a few twists and turns along the way, and there are some pretty good ones, and I actually am really enjoying the story. I do like the story of this game. I think it's a good one. I think it's probably one of the better stories in the Watch Dogs franchise. Let's get into the audio, and the first thing I'm going to say is a lot of the dialogue seems a little generic. While it's very well delivered, it just gets generic because, you know, you're not playing as a specific character. You can play as anybody. That's kind of the spiel. I will say, though, they do a good job matching voices to characters for the most part. I have one gal who looks like she's maybe 30. She sounds like she's about 98. But for the most part, I think they did a really good job matching voices to characters. As for the music, there's a couple of radio stations that eh, I could live without when I'm driving around, but there are some really good ones, and overall, even the ones I'm kind of eh about are pretty good. Except for the one song about brushing your teeth. I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand that one. As for the sound effects and whatnot, I think they did a really good job with that. It really does feel like a living, breathing city. And you can wander around and actually hear different conversations going on, whether it's people on their phones or whether it's people talking to each other. It's actually pretty cool. But beyond that, the vehicles, the weapons, etc. I really like the sound effects for all of that stuff. Now let's get into the gameplay mechanics and whatnot, and Watch Dogs Legion is a third-person action game that takes place in an open world, and I gotta say, first off, regarding the open world, I think it's a really good size. I don't think it's too big, which I think has become a problem overall in a lot of open world games where they're just getting bigger and bigger because they can, but they're not necessarily, you know, putting the effort in to make it worth the time to be that big. And also regarding the world, I think it's a very well-designed world. I think for traversal, including climbing, running, driving, all of that, I think it's well-designed. It's very easy to get around no matter how you need to get around. And this being a Watch Dogs game, the hacking is important. I feel like there's less hacking to be done overall. I didn't find myself hacking every little thing that I could every chance I got, which is definitely something I did in the first two games. But when it comes to this game, when it comes to Legion, the really big deal is you can recruit anyone, and that works exactly like I thought it would. Being that everybody basically breaks down into different classes and having different specialties, so there are multiple, like, construction people who have heavy weapons, and there are multiple, like, you can get spies, that's a class, etc. It breaks down into classes. And then there being a mission for everyone, it's a pool of missions that is drawn from pretty much at random for anyone and everyone. It just depends. I did the same mission multiple, multiple times, getting new characters. And the reality of it is, I found that it boiled down to basically, you pick a character you like and you end up using them the most. For me, I used my spy, my hitman, and I had an infiltrator because I found her the most entertaining. Now let's get into the missions and whatnot, which is a good, good balance. I think this is probably, when it comes to the mission balance, the best Ubisoft game I've played in a long time. Because when you look at other games of theirs, they're just too big and too daunting, and you kind of feel intimidated to jump into them. And others, there's just so much pointless shit. They have other games where they've just jams as much pointless shit in there and it just feels like you're wasting your time and it was jammed in there just to give you some reason to sit there and go, well, I spent 60 bucks on it. I think Watch Dogs hits a really good balance. Specifically, this game hits one of the best balances of that I've seen in a long time. One thing all Watch Dogs games have failed me on is weapons. I really just want one where I can go in buy a gun and customize said gun, which you absolutely cannot do in this game, 
because each character kind of comes with their own weapons, and then you have your, like, taser weapons that any Watch Dogs members can use, but there are some special ones that, like, apply to specific recruits. So I thought that was a cool way of differentiating recruits. I do like that. Also, cars, same problem. Not everybody has them. You can't just buy them and have it delivered to you. Only certain characters have cars. So you're stealing a lot of cars. And then lastly, the auto drive system, I think it sucks in this game. It's just not aggressive enough. When it auto drives, it really does just auto drive like very safely and slowly and it can be a pain in the ass. But at the same time, it can be helpful in some situations. But I do want to say as for the like climbing and mobility, I do think it could be slightly better. There were definitely times where there are things I should have been able to step up or climb up very easily and I could not. Basically, all the core elements of this game, I really am impressed with. Now, as for the controls, I think the controls are very good in this game. I didn't have any real problems with them. And I found them very intuitive, which is always nice, because when you jump into a new game, you just never know, and I didn't have any issues. There were a few times where I accidentally did the wrong hack, but hey, it is what it is. But when I was running, when I was aiming, when I was, you know, punching, fighting, whatever, I think it responded well. Now let's get into the visuals, and this being a cross-platform game, you know, Xbox One to Series X, I will say I didn't notice a huge difference in the quality of the graphics or the level of realism that the graphics brought, which I will say it is a very good looking game. I was really impressed with the visuals, except for the hats, that made me sad. Cause fun fact about me, pretty much any time I go out, I wear a hat kind of like this one. And all the hats like this one look really weird and just way too large for the characters. I mean, like they look like they're about three sizes too loose. That being said, I mean, you can't really customize your character apart from their wardrobe, which is fine, and there was a good amount of that, so I think they did an impressive job with giving you a good variety there. But the world itself really looks phenomenal. I think they did a great job with that future London, that kind of blending of old and new together. I just think it's a really cool looking world that they built, even though it's actually the real world, sort of. Now, like I said, played on Xbox One and Series X, and I will say, obviously, the Series X looked a little better. Specifically, just it was 4K, so that's always nice. It was in, like, proper 4K, running very smoothly. I really was impressed with how it ran. Although, admittedly, most of my footage for this is from the Xbox One. But let's wrap this up, and one thing I want to add, and I didn't really know where to put it, is playing on the Series X, holy shit, the load times, man, were fantastic. We're talking everything dropped down to well under 30 seconds. And I mean from like the main menu to the actual game took less than 30 seconds to load up. But that is a hardware thing, not necessarily a game thing. So let's get into the game. And I'm just going to say I recommend it. I really do. I think this is the best Watch Dogs game. And I really think this is a good Ubisoft game where they strike a good balance of having enough to do without it being overwhelming or feeling pointless. I enjoyed pretty much everything I did in this game. So yeah, fully recommend it. Just fully recommend it. Okay, so in the comments down below, why don't you tell me which is your favorite Watch Dogs game? And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you like what I'm doing in general, share or subscribe. Have a good one. But it turns out you're actually dead sick when it starts and you're trying to prevent like, there's not words.